The last topic of this lesson is IT performance. Let's talk about IT performance and the idea that we need to be able to monitor and measure um, and create performance indicators and we need to um, see how our performance is working and, and see whether or not we need to upgrade what we do or improve what we do to improve our performance. We establish accountability and we have to actually look at data. It's so easy to assume that you're doing a certain way, that you're at a certain level of accomplishment or performance, but you've got to look at the data. The data has got to support it. See, so many people, and I've made the same mistake myself, you think you're doing a certain, you're, you're at a certain level. You think, oh, we're doing terribly, or oh, we're doing really well. But until you actually look at the data, you don't really know. So you have to look at the data. Decisions have to be data-driven, which means you have to collect data properly. So when we're looking at performance, we want to actually get that data, we want to analyze it, we want to see, did we really sell? Uh, are we really at something? You know, did it really cost this or did it not cost that? And how much did we really make? And, and how much did we really improve our process? And we need to, of course, document and report the results. So we have different approaches here. You'll want to have technical metrics wherever possible. You want to provide actual quantitative data, stuff that you can actually say, you can actually measure. We can measure this many occurrences. We can measure this much time out, this, me this much downtime. Or when I was working in health informatics, we can measure this many new cases of infection. We can measure th this many um, uh, UPSs that went down. We can measure this much uh, medicine, this much data, uh, this many reports. Um, so you want hard, quantifiable measurements. And some examples, how many vul vulnerabilities do we have? Uh, what are our audit statistics? How many unresolved security issues do we have? And you could go on and on. Um, how many unpatched systems? Uh, how many times did something go down? Um, how many times were there security breaches? So it has to be hard quantifiable uh, data. So then we have this concept called KPI and KGI. KPI, a key performance indicator, tells us how well we're doing. The KGI, the key goal indicator, is what are we trying to achieve? And remember how we looked at that balanced scorecard and there was a target. The target was we want no more than X number of incidents, but the reality was it was this. So therefore we were either red, yellow, or green, or red, amber, or green. And so we, we have the target, the key goal indicator, we have the KPI, the key performance indicator, and then we can tell how well are we actually doing here. So like for example, our key goal indicator is 99% uptime, but the KPI shows we're only at 95%, so therefore we're perhaps at amber. Or we're only at 75%, so therefore perhaps we're at red. And so don't mistake the KPI with the KGI. The, the KGI, the goal is the target. The, the KPI, the performance indicator, is where are we really? How well are we meeting the goal? We already know that Six Sigma is a standard of quality improvement. We're trying to remove errors throughout our whole business process. We're trying to minimize the variability in our business process and manufacturing process. So whenever we are trying to improve process and we're monitoring performance, we got to look at the data and we got to figure out, okay, how can we improve this? And so Six Sigma says that uh, we'll have a formal process to reduce errors and uh, we'll have a standard way of um, making sure that there are no, there's no variability in our process. ISO 9000, um, it's a published uh, standard for quality management also, and you can um, be ISO 9001 certified. So when you're reviewing performance monitoring and assurance practices, look for things like, okay, what is their capability maturity model? Do they have control objectives for IT uh, implemented? Let me see your KGIs and KPIs. Are you using something like Six Sigma or ISO 9001? Are you actually using a, an actual procedure for improving process? And can I see your balanced scorecards too? And are you even aware of your balanced scorecards? So those are the things we can do when we're looking at IT governance. And with that, 
that is the end of lesson two. We're now going to get on to, in the next lessons, talk about system and software development life cycles.